Welcome, race fans of Nevada Diecast Racing. Miles Grant here, coming to you from the big couch here at Canyon Speedway. It is here. It is the 4th of July Stars and Stripes Tournament. Happy 4th of July to all of our Americans out there. And welcome to all our international race fans. We divided this eight-car collection into two groups. And group one is consisted of the first four races that signed up. And here they are. Speed Trap. Newcomer to the track from Black Garage Racing driving this 84 Firebird. Lily the Dog. Lily's back and she's driving this beautiful 84 Corvette and she's from Lily's Boneyard. Scoot around well. Driving a beautiful muscle speeder. He is returning from the Spirit of 64 race team. Griffin Soul. From Griffin Soul Diecast Motorsports, check out his channel. He's driving a 2018 Mustang GT. All right, let's get things started with race one. Now, first place gets five points, second three points, and on and on. Now, Speed Trap is on the inside, pulling out of the starting lane, starting to edge ahead. Pulling way ahead as Lily turns sideways and holding up the other two cars. They barely make it out of that first hairpin turn. But meanwhile, up front, it is Speed Trap in that Mustang. Griffin Soul makes a nice pass down that last straightaway. He takes second place. First place goes to Speed Trap. Lily the Dog picks up third, and Scooter Ramroll down there at the bottom with one point. Moving on to race two. Griffin Soul, Speed Trap up front. Griffin on the inside. Scooter Ramroll making a couple of nice passes and moves into that first place position. Griffin Soul trying to close that gap, not gonna be able to do it. Great race, Scooter Ramroll takes first place, Griffin Soul takes second, and then it's Lily the Dog and Speed Trap. We got a three-way tie at the halfway point for his first place. Here comes race three. Scooter Ramroll's up front now, he's on the inside, Griffin Soul right next to him on the right. They're heading out, staying pretty close. Scooter Ranwell trying to pull ahead. Lily spins out. Scooter having trouble with that muscle speeder and he lets two cars get by him. He had first place dialed in and gave it up. Here's Lily the dog spinning out and losing power on that first hairpin turn. And watch this move, Griffin Soul as he comes down that straightaway, overtakes Speed Trap, sets his sights on Scooter Ranwell makes an easy pass on the outside. Griffin Soul takes first place and he's moved into first place overall going into the very last race. All right, here they are, group one, race four. Let's see who's gonna make it into the finals. The top two move ahead. Lily the dog on the inside. Scooter Ranwell and the muscle speeder, he's on the outside. And they are bunching up before that hairpin turn. And it looks like Griffin Soul and Scooter Ranwell make it out. Griffin Soul making a nice pass. Looks like he's got first place. Yes, he does. He seals the deal with a first place finish. Going back and watching the replay, you can see that Speed Trap and Lily the Dog, they get tangled up and they stall out before that first hairpin turn. Griffin Soul and Scooter Ranwell, they are moving into the finals while Speed Trap and Lily the Dog will move to the wild card event, which is upcoming. Hey folks, do any one of these three things and you help us out immensely. Thank you so much for watching. Time to meet our second group of racers. Here they are now. Superfly. Debuting at Canyon Speedway, driving a 71 Challenger. Polo Brown. He's making a return, driving that beautiful custom 56 Ford. Grateful Sam. From Intent Racing, driving a 67 Pontiac GTO. Guy. Guys from Diecast Hallucination Racing, making his first appearance here, driving a 65 Ranchero. All right, we're at the starting line for the beginning of race one in group two. Superfly's up front next to Polo Brown as they head out of the starting lanes. They're all bunched up. Everybody trying to get ahead of the other person. Look at that race. Really tight. The Ranchero's falling behind. And it looks like Superfly's going to maintain that first position. He takes first place, followed by Bolo Brown. Grateful Sam bringing him up third place. And Guy having some difficulty. And he stalls out on that last hairpin turn. So this is how it stacks up after the first race. Guys up front, 
He's on the inside. There's a chance for him to put some points on the scoreboard. He's pulling ahead. The other car is fighting for position. Grateful Sam from behind passes two cars, moves into second position. And he's setting his sights on Guy, trying to get by him down that last straightaway. Can't do it. Guy takes first place, followed by Grateful Sam. And let's see what happened to Superfly and Bolo Brown getting tangled up. And they don't quite make it all the way to the end. So there we go. Already a three-way tie. First place at the halfway point. Moving into race three. Grateful Sam on the inside. Guy's on the outside in that beautiful ranchero. Grateful Sam pulling ahead of the other cars. Guy trying to stay with him. Into the first hairpin turn. They all make it out. No, sorry, correction. Bolo Brown on his side. Crashes that truck. And the ranchero is having difficulties. And translated those into a problem for Superfly. They get stuck right there on that last hairpin turn. So the only one to finish this race is Grateful Sam. Pretty sure Sam's going to head to the finals. Let's see what happens with the other three drivers. Last race in this group challenge. Remember, top two finishers go to the finals. The other two go to the wild card event. Bolo Brown's up front next to Grateful Sam. Looks like Bolo Brown took advantage of Grateful Sam spinning out and he get, moves into first place and we lost Superfly on that first hairpin turn. Bolo Brown speeding toward the finish line. I think he's got this dialed in. And he does, taking first place, followed by Guy and Grateful Sam bringing in third. That means Grateful Sam is moving into the finals with 12 points. We've got a tie between Guy and Bolo Brown. So we're going to run a tiebreaker to see who goes where. Now while we get ready for the tiebreaker, we see three of our cars in the garage trying to get a nice tune-up for their next event. And there are the three finalists so far. Just having a cup of coffee at Racers Cafe. Here comes race one for this tiebreaker. Let's let it rip. That was an exciting tiebreaker, goodness gracious. Bolo Brown joins the other finalists and the wild card event consists of these four racers with only the winner advancing to the final. All right, we're back here up at the starting line for the wild card event beginning race one. The winner of this event moves to the finals and the other three are eliminated. Out of the starting lanes, it's literally the dog out front. And that Ranchero gets past both those front two cars. 
Nice driving by Guy. He takes first place, followed by Lily the Dog, Speed Trap. And is that Challenger going to make it? No, it does not. So Guy in the lead right after the first race. We've got Guy on the left. He's on the inside. Lily on the outside, out of the starting lanes. Lily pulling ahead again. The Speed Trap right there. And Guy not too far behind. A little paint swapping in that first year. But turn Guy challenging Speed Trap, trying to get by him. He does at the last second, right before the finish line. Just check out that battle between that Ranchero and that Firebird. With that 65 Ranchero coming out on top. And here's where we lose Superfly. Just can't make it around that hairpin turn. All right, Lily and Guy are tied for first place. Speed Trap's got some work to do and Superfly needs a miracle. Here comes race three. Now Speed Trap in a good spot. He's in front on the inside. Right next to that Ranchero, but he's pulling ahead now with Lily right behind him. Lily spins out, the Ranchero gets by. And it's gonna be Speed Trap that takes first place. Followed by Guy in that 65 Ranchero, and here comes Lily. She crosses the finish line. But no sign of Superfly. Let's roll it back. Oh no, Lily the dog gets in Superfly's way and just ruins it for him. He's stuck up on that hairpin turn. Going into the last race, it is a battle between Guy, Lily, and Speed Trap to see who is going to go to the final. Superfly up front on the inside, right next to Speed Trap. Speed Trap pulling ahead. Here comes a Ranchero sneaking in from behind. Lily loses control of that Corvette. She's got problems. She stops cold on that first hairpin turn, but up front it is Speed Trap dominating this race, followed by Guy. Takes second place, and here comes Superfly, and he barely makes it over the finish line. He's on the board. Nice job. We do have a tie for first place. We've got to run another tiebreaker to see who's going into the final, so let's do this. A race and what a finish! Speed Trap joining Griffin Soul, Scooter Roundwell, Grateful Sam, and Bolo Brown in the final. Now, unfortunately, we have run out of time for today's episode. We will present the final in our next episode, so stay tuned, ring the bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching. I'm Miles Grant, your announcer, and I'm an adult.